Hello guys, I hope you're having a good day. You know, I keep you guys up to date on all the latest and of the crypto information. And you know, oftentimes I like to go out on a limb. Uh, I'll tell you what I'm seeing in this cryptocurrency market right now. Today, I went in and I bought a little bit of cryptocurrency. Got I got Bitcoin and I got Litecoin. Because those are the two that they're that they're primarily focusing on putting the Lightning Network in for, and I think this was the original plan going all the way back to 2009. Uh, they said that uh, Bitcoin was gold and Litecoin was silver, and uh, back then a lot of these coins didn't exist. Uh, these other altcoins, uh, Bitcoin, there was Litecoin, and uh, there was a third coin called Feathercoin. <clears throat> which they were calling uh, the digital, basically the digital version of copper. Uh, but Feathercoin is, you know, it's still out there, I think, but it's, uh, those were the three original ones, you know, and going back quite a ways. <clears throat> Existed an awful lot of time, a lot, an awful lot before a lot of these other altcoins. But a anyway, besides the point, uh, Ripple was around too back then, back in those days. And more in the early days of cryptocurrency. But I'd like to go to the limb. And uh, what this is show is about is, I think once Bitcoin breaks down, I think it's going to break down below 3,900, uh, 3,990. Once it breaks down below $4,000 into those 3,000s, I think that this, I think it's fell too far. I think they've oversold it at this point. Uh, and I think once it goes down and it cracks below below that 4,000 mark, it's going to be a psychological thing when they see a three on the number for Bitcoins, 3,000 something. I think it's going to be a psychological thing when it breaks down below that point. Uh, I think what we're going to actually see is a, uh, a small, not a real big rally, but a small rally is what I'm expecting. Uh, but I'm expecting once this rally begins, I'm expecting the price to shoot up rather rapidly. Uh, so I think today is, uh, is I think we're in a day where we're in the process of getting close to this little rally. And that's why I bought in. I wanted to get this program out there to you guys fairly quickly because that's kind of what I'm expecting. I'm, this, I'm expecting the price to shoot back up to five grand, uh, $5,000. <clears> dollars <throat> uh, I expect it to shoot up a thousand bucks rather quickly uh, once it starts. And uh, this is what I'm expecting. That's why I bought in today. Now, this is not intended to be financial advice. And I mean, I could very well be wrong about this, you know. But uh, I have to sometimes, uh, I buy things when I uh, have a gut reaction. And my gut reaction is that we're getting ready for a rally. I think, I think the price dropped off a little bit too sharp, too quickly. And I think once it passes below $4,000, I think we're in for a small-time rally. Not a huge rally, because I don't think we're ready to go back into a bull market just yet. There's too much deflation out there. So I think the price is going to move back up more toward uh, the, the $5,000 mark, uh, back up into the high 4000s And then I think we're going to bumble along for a while. Uh, at those, those are still low prices, and I think we're going to bumble along a while longer in this bear market. Now we could have another dip later after this next rally. I, I think is coming. We could have another dip later, and the next dip might even be a little bit lower than this dip. But that next dip might not materialize. So if you don't buy on this dip, and we get a little rally, and we do get another dip, and say the price goes down to to into the 3000s uh you might get that opportunity and you might not so you got to take that into consideration uh you could wait for the next big dip after this i think this next little rally but it's going to be one of those things where that's your decision if that's what you want to do remember cryptocurrency is an extremely volatile extremely risky thing to buy at this point because it's a speculative investment still and sentiment is bad, right? It has been bad, and that's why we've seen this this market markedly large sell-off. But I've witnessed a number of these sell-offs before, and I've watched uh, the Bitcoin price uh, sell-off at least two times before. 
in the past, and, and I've watched what it does very carefully. And, and so that's what I think is coming. I think we get a little rally, and then we're going to go back into a stagnant market for a while, and we could very likely have another drop before this is over. Uh, but uh, we might not get that next drop. So uh, uh, anyway, that's what I think is coming. And I wanted to get it out there because I think we're going to have a little rally uh, once it cracks below three th into the 3,000s, once it gets down to 39.90 or 39.99. Or as soon as it cracks three th into the threes, as soon as they see a number three on there instead of four, I think that that's it. I think we're going to see some selling start to come back in this market. Let's see if I'm right. I mean, you know, I mean, I don't know if I'm right. But that was my gut reaction today, and that's why I purchased. Uh, <clears throat> Listen, thank you guys for listening. Like and subscribe, and uh, I'll try, try to keep you up to date on all the latest uh, with the Bitcoin, what's happening with it. Uh, but uh, remember, do not risk more money than you're, uh, than you're willing to actually burn. However much money you're willing to crinkle up and lay on your kitchen table and light fire to it. That's how much money you can invest in Bitcoin. <laughs> Don't invest more than that. Because if you can't afford to lose that money, do not put it into Bitcoin and the cryptos. Because they're such a volatile thing. And this is not financial advice. Remember that. I'm just telling you what I what I think and uh, what I uh, think is going to happen to the market in the next uh, few weeks. Uh, okay, bye-bye, guys.